Hey guys, it's me again. Okay, I have come up with some ideas <clears throat> for possible holiday uh, business ideas. Uh, I was talking to some of my coworkers today, and you know, because the idea just popped in my head, and then afterwards, I just kept letting it roll and roll around in my head as I worked. And the ideas just kind of kept growing and growing and I kept thinking about it and all that. So personally, I don't have the money or I also I probably would be too scared to just jump out and do this. Um, but for folks out there who, you know, might would have a little extra money or you're just absolutely totally sick of your job to the point to where you know you've got to do something and you want to be your own boss. Well, these are some ideas that, you know, I have come up with. Um, and I just kind of wanted to share it with some of you just in case someone out there is just needing an idea to, you know, someone to give them an idea to pop in their head. Well, this is mine. Okay, the first idea would require knowledge of the kitchen and of cooking and everything that that entails. And when you're working in the kitchen, you're having to deal with sanitization um, and proper cooking temperatures, all that type of stuff. So you would have to have a basic knowledge of that and, you know, probably worked in kitchens or uh, and or taken college courses on stuff like that, uh, dietitian like stuff, things like that. Uh, the second idea deals with theatrics. Basically, you it would be like, and both of these are holiday, holiday related, not just Christmas, but uh, all the year round, like the different holidays that roll around throughout the year. Okay. But anyway, the second one deals with um, putting on uh, holiday plays throughout the year and uh, also Santa services. Um, okay, let's, let's just start with, out with the first idea. Okay, the first idea would be a uh, frozen holiday frozen meal uh, services. And what you would do is, in my idea, you could uh, buy uh, or build um, something similar to like a restaurant or a storefront or something as long as it has a good working kitchen in it and you have, you know, plenty of room to do what you need to do. And, and uh, it's well clean and, and, and passes inspection and all that type of stuff. Okay. All right. What you could do is figure out what people like to eat around the holidays. Something that's different from what, you know, your town's basic restaurants serve. And this is really a really good idea for like a small town. I mean, it might would work in big cities, but... You know, small towns, you might have like a restaurant here and there, uh, although those are kind of nowadays uh, becoming less and less because of the economy and everything. But with this thing or this idea, business plan, you can, uh, you know, figure out what people like to eat on the holidays or what you would enjoy eating and other people and make that. And what you could do is... Uh, set it up to where you can get those containers. Uh, you can either buy them. Well, you probably would need a supplier. I mean, let, let's face it, you know, you're going to be dealing with quite a bit of, of food. So you would need a supplier to supply you with these pans, uh, which you can get these at the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store, or whatever these these pans that have, uh, you know, the little lids in them to where you can put like different different foods and stuff and store in the freezer and stuff like that. I mean, there's different types of of uh, pans and storage, food storage things out there. Okay, what you could do is uh, get that and um, you could set it up to where people can either come by and get like a hot plate, like you fix it up in those containers and they can buy it warm or they can buy it frozen, however they want to. And they can just pick it up they can either call in or they can come by and you could sell it to them and you can set it up to where, you know, you have your one basic meat. And this is where I guess crock pots would be like, 
you know, really good, uh, you know, good items to use and have plenty of because, you know, you think about it, you could put, you know, chicken, roast, whatever in crock pots and cook them for most of the day. And then you can put them out along with your vegetables. Make sure you plan like, you know, like a whole meal, like, you know, your your uh, one meat and, you know, two or three vegetables or fruit. You can put your fruits in there. And also uh, sweets, you could sell sweets too. Uh, you know, if you could come up with a really some really good sweet ideas that maybe nobody else in town offers, even your local, ugh, even your local bakery, find out. You know, kind of get an idea as what as to what they sell, um, and you know, you could create something that's different that, or maybe in a smaller portion or uh, uh, more. Uh, a cheaper version of what they could offer and you know make your product you know as cheap as you can to where you can make a profit but yet you know it's reasonable enough to where people will want to buy from you okay so you can do this and and set it up that way and if you don't want people lingering around and I know this is <laughs> maybe a bad thing for me to say but Thinking as someone who would just want to do, you know, cook their meals, get them ready and sell them and not have people lingering around and, you know, to not have it be treated as an actual restaurant and have people sitting around having to deal with, uh, you know, cleaning up after people, dealing with tips, uh, you know, customer service and that realm. If you want to just kind of cut all that out, just set it up to where maybe you have like a bench setting in the front part of your business to where people can just as the as they order and if they need to sit and wait they can sit down on the bench and wait for their food and then they can go and then you don't have to deal with it if you don't want to now if you want to turn it into a full-blown restaurant you know go for it whatever but i'm just saying if you wanted to just treat it as hey you come pick it up or maybe deliver um set it up to where you would be willing to deliver for like a delivery fee um I think this would be a good idea as far as that. Um, but, you know, I mean, the, to me, this is something that's unique. And, you, you know, with today's, you know, busy lifestyle and also with a lot of the elderly people, people are getting to where they either don't have the time or don't want to fool with cooking during the holidays or they just can't. They, they physically can't cook for the holidays and it would be nice if there was someone to where they you know they wouldn't have to go all the way to a restaurant you know way off 20 30 miles away they could just uh there would be something local in their town they can just call up and say hey i've got five people here and we all need a meal you know and, and you could even do like even just besides holiday if you just want to um you know have your special holiday meals but also just have your daily meals uh, you could set it up to where people could just come by, you know, any day of the week, you know, or say Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday, whatever, however you want to do your store hours and pick up a meal, either uh, hot or frozen. You could do that and uh, just set it up to where, you know, they might you might have like a little bit of variety, like you might change up the um, either the fruit or you might change up the vegetables or something like that, like have one meal that has, uh, say, you know, uh, roast beef and mac and cheese and uh, uh, mashed potatoes in one meal. And then you might have uh, your roast beef and uh, diced potatoes uh, with uh, green beans or something. You know what I mean? Just kind of you can just kind of change up some of the meal to where people will have, a you know, a little bit of, a, of something to choose from. And like I said, that way they can get it and go and they can, you know, you can show them, you can maybe have pictures of your items out on display to where they can see what they're getting. And uh, they don't, you know, that to me, it just would make it easier and they can get what they want and go take it home. And there you go. You know, you're done with it. You don't have to deal with all that other uh, restaurant mess, you know, except for the cleanup of your cooking and, you know, your daily you know, cleaning up of the place. So yeah, that would be, I think that would be a good idea for that. That's my first idea. My second idea, idea 
deals with, you know, putting on plays like maybe at your local um, theater uh, or uh, not seen, not necessarily senior center, but just like your uh, community center is what I'm trying to say, or just some place or maybe you could rent a place to where you can put on performances like each holiday that there is, um, you know, even if it's Memorial Day, Veterans Day, Fourth of July. New Year's, whatever, you could put on plays or uh, and or put on like little shows, singing shows and stuff for people to come and see. And especially around Christmas, you could have it set up to where people can come and, you know, watch a little holiday skit and also get to sit in Santa's lap and take pictures because I've noticed they have really taken Santa out of a lot of the communities. Uh, people do have to drive pretty long distances just to, to go visit Santa, little kids, you know, and I think that in a way it's kind of sad. I mean, I know that everybody's got their own view of Christmas and what Christmas is about, and we all know that Christmas is really about Jesus and all that stuff, but I'm just saying, you know, Still, it's fun to grow up with Santa. I mean, that, that's like a long tradition that a lot of us have had. I mean, you know, I grew up hearing about Santa. You know, a lot of kids have. And I've noticed that's kind of been taken out, you know, of communities and out. You know, it's just not people don't seem to do that much anymore so i think that there may be a need or a vacancy for someone to step in and do that and you know it'd be nice for kids to come and sit in santa's lap and take a picture maybe charge a dollar or two for the picture that's something they can take home and enjoy and especially if you combine that with say like a skit or a play or something like have the play or this the singing or whatever it is that you choose to do and then say after the the event then kids get to visit with Santa and like charge a certain fee for the whole thing like the the fee includes both the the skit and also the vi the visit in the picture with Santa and just you know have your photographer there at the end where kids can come and sit in Santa's lap and get their picture taken and tell Santa what they want for Christmas. I mean, I just think that would be kind of kind of a neat thing to, for people to start back up because it has been lessened. I mean, I don't know in your community, you know, some people, they may have Santas everywhere. But I've noticed in my area and other local small communities, there that doesn't really exist anymore. It's like people do have to go, you know, way off somewhere to a mall or something like that just to visit with Santa you know, little kids, you know, so I just, you know, thought that would be kind of a neat, you know, some neat ideas if someone wanted to kind of take, you know, a leap of faith and maybe they had the money and the, you know, the desire and they weren't really too afraid because I'm kind of too chicken right now myself. Um, and, you know, especially like if you're doing the place like, you know, you, they can be more than just holiday plays as well. You could do it, you know, throughout the year, every week, whatever. Um, and just, you know, come up with some, you know, good ideas. Maybe watch, you know, some shows. I'm not saying plagiarize. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't do that. Just maybe get you some ideas from, you know, from your own life experiences and things you see on TV and stuff like that and create you some plays or some events around that that you could do for your community and just charge a small amount, you know, depending, I guess, on what your rent is and uh, what maybe you have to pay, like maybe local, uh, your, your friends or local actors or whatever it is, you know. Uh, some people may do it for free, may volunteer just for the fun and the experience or whatever, just, you know, whatever, you know, you choose to do. But I just, you know, like I said, I, these were just some ideas that were rolling around in my head today. And I thought, hey, I'm going to share that and just see, you know, maybe maybe this will help somebody out there that was just needing some ideas or something. So but anyway, uh, just tell me what you guys think. Or do these seem like good ideas to you? Yay or nay? <laughs> just leave some comments below if you want to. Just be nice. Okay. Bye.